Okay, I'm going to make a quick walkthrough demo of Mandible 3D. This is the uh, preview screen, and if you want to see what the Mandible actually looks like, you click on Calculate 3D, and it will render what the Mandible looks like. So this is a 3D fractal. This is the default 3D fractal. Um, if you want to see what some other parameters are, you will go over to the uh, formula and you can change these where it says integer power. You have all of these different formulas uh, that you can select. So I'm going to go to a popular one that actually makes it easy to understand um, how it's actually structured. So we go to an amazing box, click that, it puts that into the um, parameter field, and then we click Calculate 3D, and it's, it renders the box, but we're, we need to get a different view on it, so I'm going to zero out the um, position and rotation, and then hit Calculate 3D again, and now you can see what the um, amazing box look like. So let's, over here, down here, you can see where you can rotate it 45 degrees. You can set this number to anything you want, and you can rotate it 45 degrees that way, and then 45 degrees down, and then you can do a pre-calculation here. It kind of shows you the angle. We might want to come out a little bit, back up a little bit. So here, we, um, I don't know which direction to go in to come Back. So I'm just going to pull it back that way and then to calculate again, that was the wrong direction. So we're going to go forward this way and hit calculate. So here you can see kind of the amazing box in all its glory. So from here, you want to start navigating it. So they have a thing called here called the 3D Navigator. You click on that and it opens up a navigator and from here you can interactively navigate around or in, even go inside of the box but I, these colors to me are too distracting so first I'm going to just change these colors which shows you another aspect of it. You have lighting uh, you would actually click on this button here and it opens up the lighting panel and you have some presets here and I like, I, I like to use this neutral color here preset click on that and you see now it turns the uh, the mandible amazing box into kind of a neutral color so then um, I can zoom in on that let's go to um, navigate 3d and then let me update the, um, the preview here click on parameters if you click on this it updates the preview to what's currently in the uh, render window so click on that and now we have the a preview of the Mandible 3D, which you can navigate. So you click on the window, you can actually see how you can start navigating around and seeing different angles of the Mandible. Okay, so that's that's um, the amazing box as a default. Now we can go over here where we have these settings, uh, scale, for example, I can take the scale down. It's actually, just when you when you decrease the scale it actually makes the box bigger for some reason if we go in the other direction you increase the scale and it makes the box smaller but it also changes it so you have these different uh, as these different attributes that you can adjust to modify uh, what the amazing box is and then you can also add an attribute so right now we have the amazing box in formula one but if we wanted to change how this actually uh, works, we can go to another formula and then drop in a different uh, formula preset here. And let's just, I'm going to go back over to um, the real power. I don't know what it's going to do. And then you drop that in. So now the real power is set up. And then I, I would go to render. Uh, or calculate 3D to see what that looks like. But first I have to push this, what I have, into the main view. So I'm sending this information to the main view.
Okay, so now that's sent to the main block. I can just I can just close this window. Then I render this. Okay, and now it has um, the F2 formula didn't take for some reason. I have to set it in there again. So I'm going to put in real power, and then I'm going to hit calculate. And so it, you can see how dramatically it changed it. So probably something that I wouldn't use unless I was looking for something. But I'm just going to change one of the um, the variables here. I'm going to decrease the number, see if it kind of brings some of this back. And it doesn't do very much. So I'm going to let's say do a minus. Let's do a minus number on here. Minus three. Calculate. Okay, so that just blows it out completely. Let's do a point 0.1 and then we calculate on that. It doesn't give me anything worth looking at. Let's do a 1, int 1, calculate 3D. So it's kind of bringing it back, but uh, it's pretty much blown out. You know, I don't know what I can make out of this unless I was actually looking for something like that. I could probably go into one of these settings here and increase the number, which might simplify. This one kind of simplifies the detail. So I hit calculate 3D, and it doesn't, eh, it is kind of bringing something into view there. So, but let me just get rid of this one. And then you can see with all of these different formulas, you know, you have an infinitesimal amount of different directions uh, you can go in. But that's just a part of it. So the other part is navigating and animating. So say if we wanted to like go inside of here and see what's going on. So we go back to the 3D Navigator. We update this preview to the current parameters. And then we have these buttons here where we can zoom inside. And also, you can keyframe these. So if we open up the keyframe editor, now we're starting to we're starting to make a keyframe. We will we will lock in. I basically when I hit that uh, animation keyframe, I set one one keyframe. So now I'm going to zoom in. I'm just going to hit my W key. I could press the button and zoom in, but also if I hold my W key down, it will continue to move it will continue to move in. See, it kind of zooms in there. And so you can kind of see how the detail, uh, let me zoom back out a little bit. Zoom back out. Okay, so I'm gonna keyframe that. And then I'm gonna turn it, um, let me go like slide down. So I'm gonna hit the C key and then slide down and and hit the keyframe and then I'm also going to change the parameters a little bit I'm going to go back over here and change the parameters or I can I can just change it from here and just to see what happens you know changing making them kind of blow them up a little bit okay so let's just like let's keyframe that and also you have all these lights you have some lights you can drop in. Uh, where do I get my lights from? Lighting. Go to lighting. So now over here I have my lighting. And then let's say if I just wanted to add another light and change the color so we can see it. I'm going to change it to kind of a blue, a light blue color. So save that. And then I'm going to increase the value of it to see if it shows up. Since I can't see it, I need to locate where it is. I'm going to use a positional light. So I'll click position. And then I have to click this button here to place my light. I have to click twice on the screen to kind of show, trying to figure, oh, that's the wrong one. Something happened there. I hit that. Hit save. Got blue. Hit mid. And seems not to be working there. Oh, I got to turn it on. There we go. Okay, hit intensity. Hit it. Hit Still not working. It should be working, but it's not. 
Maybe it's because it's, it, it, that, it doesn't work on the animation view. I have to go, I have to update the, um, I have to update the main view and then render the main view. And then I have to set the light in the main view. That The light is going to show up over here in the main view. So go back over here, hit mid image. And then now you can see my lights there. It's too bright, so I turn it down. I'll zoom it down, 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 down. down. And then I, if I want to show, if I actually want to see the light, I can click here, visible, and hit one. And now you can see the light right there, so I can pull it back. If I hit the Z, I can bring it back into closer to the camera. And now I can turn it down a little bit, so you can see where you can have control over lights. You can have as many lights as you want. And let me go ahead and keyframe that. Keyframe that. And then now I can play a little short uh, preview animation. You see how long it takes to render. I'm just going to use the default settings and see how it renders. And you can see it rendering there, We're zooming in. And probably a light will just come up there eventually. Bright blue light should come up in there. Yep, there it is. So, and that's the animation. That's pretty much it. And thank you for watching.